Hello YouTube, what is up? I had an amazing weekend of sales on Depop, so I wanted to actually show you guys everything before I shipped it out. It is Monday morning, and this is gonna be sales from Saturday, Sunday, and this morning. Yeah, let's get into it. So before we just skedaddle into the sales, I just wanted to give you guys some background in case you did click on this video, you have no idea who I am. My name is Jackson, I run a Depop shop called Loveless Vintage, and I have been a top seller for three years now, so I'm a verified top seller seller on the app. I sell on Depop full-time, meaning it is my job. It is almost all of my income. So I wanted to show you guys my world ranking that I placed this week. If you're a top seller or if you are doing very well on Depop, I think you can place within the top few thousand and they will send you a sales rank. It'll let you know how you're doing out of everybody else in the world selling on Depop. So I'll share with you guys my sales rank, my total sales this weekend, and what my sales have kind of looked like over these past few months. They've really increased and I'll tell you guys why I think that is. So here is my sales rank email and I'll put like a screenshot of this up on the screen so you guys can see it better. But I placed 208th this week, which is not my best. I think my best I've ever placed is like 80. I had 74 new items. I sold 49 items in the last seven days. I have sold 193 items in the last 30 days. My amount that I made this week was almost $2,000, $1,941. And I think last week it was actually the same. So this week and last week, I've almost net $2,000 on Depop, which is amazing. In the last 30 days, I've net $6,634 on Depop. Now, this is all made before fees. So obviously, there are fees included, and then there's shipping cost and buy cost of all my items and everything. So this is not what I'm taking home. I'm not taking home these numbers, but I just want to show you guys this. Now we're on my stats page on Depop. This is just the Depop browser up here, depop.com selling hub stats. Here is me, Loveless VTG, and as you guys can see, this week was crazy. Starting off with like a $100 a day, which is like, that's kind of my minimum. I'd at least like to get like $100 a day, but then we jump up 161, 226, 204, 219. And then here's where it kind of gets crazy. So this is Saturday, Sunday coming up. $650.72 on Saturday. And then yesterday, Sunday. $445.91. So over this weekend, I made over $1,000 in two days on Depop. That is kind of why I wanted to make this video because that's really, really good for me. So let's see what I sold. And really quick, I did want to show you guys, this is my stats for revenue over the past six months. I did want to show you guys why I think my sales have increased so much. So back in the beginning of the year and all last year, I only listed six items a day on Depop. I think around May, like April, May, I started bumping it up to eight listings a day. And now I do 10 listings a day. 10 listings a day is what I used to do on Depop. Like two years ago, like that's kind of what I started out doing on Depop. And I would recommend doing 10 listings a day if you can, if you have the inventory. But if you guys can see from March, I had a $3,489 month. April, we went up to $4,171. May, we went up to $5,193. June, we went up to $5,753. And then July, we went over to $6,159. That's a crazy jump up. 6,000 from March, I was doing like 3,500. So I honestly think listing more on Depop obviously is going to increase your sales. So that's why I think my sales have been going kind of crazy. And it is currently August 8th, as you guys can see, and we are at $2,028.01 eight days in August. So I think August is going to be really great. Another thing is, is normally in the summertime, things kind of slow down with sales. It is actually dubbed the summertime slowdown for us resellers. And yeah, I just wanted to get your guys' opinions, maybe in the comments, if you could let me know, do you think summer is a slower time for you guys? I think this past summer was really slow for me, but I've been really surprised that my sales have been the best out of this whole year in like the months of June and July and going into August, they've been super strong. So again, it's probably me just listing more, but let me know in the comments if your guys' sales do slow down in the summer. So let's get into what I actually sold in total from Saturday until today, which it is Monday morning. I sold 19 things, but I did have to refund one buyer because I couldn't find the item. I'd had this hoodie posted for like over a year and I think I sold it on an Instagram story sale and I didn't market sold on my Depop. So tip to my fellow Depop sellers, if you do markets, if you sell things on your Instagram story, remember immediately when you sell something to market sold on Depop because I couldn't find it and the buyer was super nice and super to get the hoodie and then I had to be like, 
I don't have it. I have to refund you. So that never really happens to me, but I did have to do that. So 18 sales. I'm going to go through all of them. I'm going to try to let you guys know what I paid for them. If I remember, I'll let you guys know what they sold for. And then just to keep this video shorter, just remember there's going to be fees and shipping out of all of this stuff. So what I'm telling you guys it sold for is not exactly what I get. But in total, I can confidently say that I made around $1,000 in this two day period. And I did have two sales this morning that kind of factored into this. But basically in two days, I made over $1,000 on Depop. Let's get into it. Let's it sold. So my first sale, which was very early morning on Saturday, I think this came in at like 1 a.m. or something. We have this Portland, Maine. This is a new age kind of travel destination tee, size large on a Gildan tag. It's a new Gildan tag. This is not vintage at all, but I did sell this for $20 shipped. It sold for $15 and then $5 shipping. I just do $5 shipping on all my items on Depop. That's how I've always done it. I know free shipping is an awesome option, but for me, I think it makes the initial price just higher. So it almost to me lessens the chance that you get that sale because someone sees something for $20 opposed to $15 added to cart they see that shipping's $5 I feel like someone's just more okay spending $5 on shipping than buying for the initial cost of $5 more that's just how I justify it in my head I don't know if it makes sense but that's just what I do and I've kept it up like that so $15 $5 shipping $20 in this one I actually got this one at the Goodwill bins so I paid like a dollar for this one this next one is a Halo 3 promo tee it is screen printed tag but I think it's like 2007 or something. This one is a large, but it fits a medium. I got this one in a buyout and I think I spent 10 or $15 on it. It did sell for $55 ship. So after shipping and fees and my buy cost and everything, I'm pretty sure I still made at least like 35, 40 ish dollars on that tee. Next we have a single stitch vintage, just like duck tee. I think it's actually for some race. Yeah. The 4th of July run. Like I said, this one is single stitch. It's a vintage one. And these nature animal tees, no matter what they are, if it's just an animal, shirt, a vintage one. They've been selling super well on my Depop. This one did have some distressing and even some stains and I still sold it for $25 shipped on my Depop. 25 bucks for this little duck shirt. So that was a good sale. Next, we have these Nike shoes out of my personal collection. They are Air Max 98s. I actually got these at an outlet store like four or five years ago. I can't even remember what I paid for them. I'm gonna guess probably 70 or 80 and I sold them for 70 ships. So I basically got my money back kind of I don't really consider this like a part of my reselling journey I didn't buy these when I was reselling I'm pretty positive so these were just something that I had in my closet that I sold kind of like most normal people on Depop they're just trying to get rid of stuff they had in their closet so I bought some new shoes I wanted to get some money back I didn't really wear these that much so I sold them for $70 on Depop one of my favorite things to sell is band tees I got into vintage through band tees so I sold this Metallica tee this is not vintage it's from 2017 but I thrifted this Metallica shirt. I think it was $2 at a local thrift store and I took an offer on it. I had it up for $25 and five shipping. So $30 total, but I took an offer for $20 plus five shipping and I sold it for $25 shipped. We have an Alaska tee. I believe I got this in a buyout and I think I paid like $5 for it. This nice kind of like beige brownish Alaska tee size large. This one is a vintage one and I sold this one for $30. The guy that bought it actually offered me 20 shipped and I said, no, sorry. And then he offered me 25 shipped which I normally would accept. I normally would accept just a $5 off offer, but on Depop now you can see when your item is in people's carts and this was in five plus people's carts. So I kind of use that to my like leverage. I kind of said, hey man, this is in five plus people's carts. So I'm just going to stick with the price right now. And he said, fair enough. And then he bought it. So I kind of use that in my negotiation tactic. If I just posted an item within like the past week or if it's in a lot of people's carts, I normally don't really budge much on the price. Of course, your item can be in like tons of people's carts and it can never sell but it is kind of a good negotiation tactic if someone's trying to like offer you a little bit less than you'd want to take on an item. So this one it sold for $30 shipped and I think I paid like five for it. So good sale. All right. Another tee from my personal collection. I actually had two of these in my closet. I got this one through a trade. So I was fine letting it go because I do not need two of these in my closet. This is a vintage Morrissey Your Arsenal shirt with the front and the back print. This one is single stitch size XL and a super faded out like Toltex blank. And this one I got in a trade. What I traded for it was this like parking lot bootleg Rob Zombie tee. And this was like over a year ago. And I paid, I think 50 or $60 for that Rob Zombie tee. And I traded it to my homie that thrifted this. This honestly is a 200 plus dollar tee. I took an offer on it for $200. $200 shipped is what I got for this. And I honestly think that was a super solid deal. I've seen these sell for more. I think I saw one a few months ago sell for like 350 or so. So 200 is a steal in my opinion. 
I do still have this shirt in my personal collection. This is just my double up. So I was fine at selling my double up for a profit of around like probably 120, 125 bucks because with my buy cost of that other shirt that I traded for it, I have to factor that into this. This one was also for my personal collection it is an 18 Visions band t-shirt. This is a metalcore band. This is just a reprint and it doesn't have a tag. I bought this like six years ago or something and I sold it for $30 shipped. So this was a sale that really surprised me. I've been pricing my items on Depop a little bit higher as I've mentioned in some other videos because I do accept a lot of offers and this one I was going to post it for around $40 and then I was like I'll just throw it up for 50 and like we'll see what happens and it actually sold within like a few minutes so I was like dang so this one sold for 55 shipped it's just this Harley Davidson vintage 90s I think it's double XL too yeah double XL so a good size and it's this like deep purple Harley Davidson shirt with the wolves really cool I doesn't even have like a motorcycle on it which I thought was pretty cool so you just have the wolves there and yeah I threw this up on my Depop for 55 shipped and it sold in like two minutes so I was super hyped with that I was gonna throw it up for like 10 to 15 less I priced it up a bit willing to take offers on it and it just sold for full price so it's super sick when stuff like that happens I just realized I don't have one of the shirts I sold so let me go grab it okay when you forget to grab one of the shirts that you sold very embarrassing but we have this like it's five o'clock somewhere beer wraparound print t-shirt this one is not vintage it's on a screen printed tag and this one i actually got in like a mystery thrift bag if you guys haven't watched that video on my channel i think it's a super underrated video it's completely uncut so it is a little bit longer but i do these vintage mystery bag on openings on my instagram page whenever i can find them this is just a random shirt i got in there that i decided to throw on depop it's just a bunch of different beers with like the it's five o'clock somewhere and this actually sold on my depop for 20 shipped so this shirt paid for that entire bag i bought i think that one was like seven dollars for the entire bag I bought and yeah I sold this shirt for twenty dollars so my buy cost into this shirt was probably like less than 50 cents another shirt kind of out of my personal collection I actually thrifted this shirt over a year ago and I was keeping it until I could watch the anime series because I really wanted to watch this anime series and I just never got around to it so I decided to throw it up on Depop and again it did sell full price this is the melancholy of Harui Suzumiya and I have not seen this show and I'm pretty sure that's how you say it but excuse me if I did butcher it. It's an XL screen printed tag, but it's dated, I think, 2004. So screen printed tags do go back as far as I think 2002. So sometimes shirts with screen printed tags can be older. But this one I was holding onto in my personal collection. I actually had a white version of this with a different graphic and I sold it recently for $125 on Instagram. So I was like, I'm just gonna throw this one on Depop for 150 and see if it sells. And it did, it sold for 150. I had an offer for 100 and I said, no thanks. And then he ended up just buying it full price. So I think this shirt in a bigger size is kind of rare so I threw it up for 150 and yeah that's what it sold for 155 after shipping actually so let's take a moment of silence for the hoodie that I could not find I had this hoodie posted for like probably a year and a half and it had some stains on it and stuff and I just couldn't find it but it sold for $30 I had to refund the buyer that rarely happens to me maybe once a year I'll like lose an item that was kind of annoying next we have this Catton shirt I actually found this shirt in a trip to the thrift video and talked about it a little bit I believe it's a surfboard company and their shirts do really well on ebay i feel like if i would have thrown this on ebay i would have got more but it is a vintage one made in usa size large probably early 2000s and this one sold for 30 shipped i did take an offer it was up for 35 shipped but i took an offer for 30 shipped i feel like if i would have thrown this on ebay i probably could have got like 40 to 45 but i just don't like listing items on ebay i really prefer depop depop is my main squeeze so i just stick with that so 30 dollars for this shirt this was a shirt that when i thrifted it like everyone wanted it and then when they found out the size no one wanted it it's a hollow back tag size medium and this one is an 80s one so it is super tiny so this is not going to fit most people but this is a max headroom like coca-cola shirt so this is like a weird commercial that they used to have this one is a single stitch 80s vintage one and it sold for 35 dollars shipped it did sit on my depop for i want to say probably like three, four months, but sold for $35 shipped. We have a little bundle sale here, but it was a full price bundle sale. They didn't ask me for a bundle discount or anything like that. So they got these two shirts. I really love this one. I got this one in a buyout recently. Size XL, but it is really boxy. But these three wolf heads, this one sold for 32 with five shipping. So 37 for this one. And then this one sold for 25 with five shipping. So 30 for this one. I also got this in a buyout. I think this one was $5. So for both of these shirts, the buyer paid 67 
$67 for both of these shirts. No bundle discount or anything, $67 shipped. This is a shirt that I bought to throw on Whatnot when I was still doing Whatnot. I don't do Whatnot anymore, really. If you guys want me to go back on Whatnot, let me know in the comments. It is kind of fun, but it does move a little bit slower and things go for way less than I could sell them for Depop on Whatnot. So I'm kind of iffy with it, but I bought this one specifically to throw on Whatnot. It's just a new age screen printed tag pink Floyd shirt. It's tie dyed, it's the wall. And I threw it on Depop for I think $17 with $5 shipping. So this one sold for $22. And honestly, if I put this on Whatnot, it probably would have went for like three to $5. So I'm really happy with $22 <laughs> compared to like $3. So that was a good one. I found this at bins for probably like 70 cents. This one, I also took an offer on. It was up for $35 shipped and I took an offer for just 30 shipped. It's this Eagle shirt. I got this in a bio. I think it was like $5, $30 shipped for this like animal nature tea. As I've been saying in like all my videos in the past few months, animal nature teas have been selling super well for me on Depop. And then this sale also came in this morning. This is a very unique item. It is a mega mind like Intel processor movie promo hoodie. I don't know. It's super weird. I got this at a thrift store that was closing and I want to say it was like $3. I had this on my Depop for a minute. I think probably more than like half a year. It's a size double XL, but it did end up selling for $55 shipped. It does have some distressing and everything. I think I saw some on eBay that were in better condition selling for like a decent amount more. I threw this one up for 50 and it sold full price. So 55 after shipping on this mega mind movie Intel promo hoodie. I don't know. Very weird item, but super cool. And then this is the last item I was going to include. This one, I'm just not shipping right now because the person doesn't want me to ship it for a few weeks because it's a gift for a friend, but I did want to throw it in because she did pay me for it on Saturday. So obviously it does count with our sales, but shout out to Maribel who bought this. She is a viewer of the channel and she actually just DM'd me on Depop and was like, Hey, I saw this sweater in one of your videos. Do you have it? And I did. And she just purchased it from me via Depop. So if you guys ever see anything, in any of my thrifting videos or anything like that, message me on Instagram. You can also hit me up on Depop, but message me on Instagram and maybe we can make a deal on it. But this is like an Irish hand knit, super thick kind of scratchy sweater that I found in a trip to the thrift video. And I think I paid like $5 for it. She ended up buying it for $40 shipped. So thank you so much, Mary Bell, for that. And thank you for the support and watching the channel. That is all my sales. This is a much longer video than I thought it was gonna be. I'm super sorry, but if you guys did like it, please remember to subscribe. I post Depop and thrifting content almost weekly and yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to like the video too. Liking the video takes literally two seconds. It helps me out so much. It helps my channel's reach and the growth of my channel and we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for subscribing. This has been Jackson with Loveless Vintage. Peace out, you guys.